present Arthur Lowe, John LeMessurier, and Clive Dunn in Dad's Army. <laughs> Fallen Idol, featuring John Lorry, Arnold Ridley, and Ian Lavender, with this week's guests, Jeffrey Lumsden, Jack Watson, and Michael Brennan. <laughs> Here is the news, and this is John Snag reading it. As the war drags on into its second year, and the Home Guard comes to play an increasingly vital role in the defense of our homeland, it is essential that they are kept up to date with the latest developments in the field of armaments. With this in mind, the Warmington on Sea platoon are on their way to a weapon training camp, where the commanding officer and his sergeant major await their arrival. Is this the tent for the Warmington on Sea platoon, Sergeant Major? Yes, sir. They're a bit late getting here, aren't they? Oh, I understand they're coming by their own transport, sir. Yes, they're very ingenious, these home guard. Oh, yes, sir. And very keen as well. Yes, a bit too k- keen, if you ask me. They're all right, sir. Well, it's this d- damn stammer I've developed. I mean, I- I've been running this school with explosives now for over a year. And it wasn't until we started getting home guards here for weekend courses that I got this confounded stammer. <laughs> You ask me, sir, you could do with a spot of leave. Well, the, the trouble is that they're so mad keen. I mean, they charge about all over the firing range. Uh, one of these days, they're going to blow themselves sky high. Oh, that must be them now, sir. Right, we're here. Disembark, man. Come along. Put it again. And the double. Oh. This lot sound even more keen than the others, sir. Oh, Lord. Oh, all right, Sergeant Major. Go and bring them in. Right, sir. In here, gentlemen, please. Thank you. Ah, I'm Captain Mannering, 1st Platoon Warmington on Sea Home Guard, reporting for duty, sir. Uh, How do you do? I'm a Captain Reed. (laughs) This is Sergeant Wilson and Lance Corporal Jones. Hello, how are you? Afternoon, sir. Uh, How do you do? I must say, sir, we're all rather keen to get cracking. We haven't done any practice with live grenades before. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, haven't you? I can't wait to get my hands on one. Neither can I, sir. No, sir. When I was in France in 1914, I used to lob them bombs over the top one after another. I used to do a lot of that sort of thing, sir. A lot of lobbing, you know, sir. The mad bomber, they called me, sir. <laughs> of course, I'm not really mad. I'm as sane as you are. <laughs> Oh, oh, really, yes. And then make yourselves comfortable. Come along, Sir Major. Right, sir. He's a bit historical, isn't he, sir? <laughs> right, come on, Wilson. Let's go and get our bedding. Uh, young Pike's bringing mine in, sir. Bringing it in? Yeah, yes. We can't have people waiting on us in this platoon, Wilson. We're a democratic unit. We all eat together, we all sleep together, and we all fight together. Ranks shouldn't come into it. Is he bedding on class? In future, Pike, you will not wait on Sergeant Wilson. We're all equal here. Shall I take it out again, Uncle Arthur? <laughs> Frank, don't be absurd. Oh, Mum says you're not to tread all over the sheet. She doesn't mm. want any dirty footmarks all over him. <laughs> right, man, get your bedding laid out. Aye. Uncle Arthur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is it, Frank? Have you seen Mr. Snugly? <laughs> Mr. Who? Mr. Snugly, my teddy bear. <laughs> no, no. no, Frank, I haven't. Mum told me she packed him. Yes, well, I, I'm sorry, but I, I haven't seen him. Well, I must find him. I can't get to sleep without him, you know that. <laughs> well, well, I haven't got him. Well, have a look. Go on, see if he's in your bed. Go on, have a look. Right. Have a look. Have a look. Go on, Frank, Frank. For heaven's sake, let me see. Wait a minute. Really, this is ridiculous. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Here he is. Put him back. Hmm? Don't let anybody see him. What? I thought you wanted him. I don't want anybody to see him. They might laugh at me. Wrap him in a towel and pass him over. <laughs> All right, well, very well, then. Wilson. Yes, sir? What have we got in that towel? Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Snugly. <laughs> Mr. Who? My teddy, sir. My teddy. I just can't go to sleep without him. Extraordinary. Thank you, Uncle Arthur. Hey, what on earth are you doing, Jonesy? I'm putting up my mosquito net. 
There aren't any mosquitoes round here, you silly old fool. Well, I know that, but it goes with a sleeping bag. I've had this sleeping bag ever since I was in the Sudan, you know. As well as keeping out mosquitoes, this net used to keep out the snakes. <laughs> I can't believe there ain't a respectable snake would want to get into bed with you, huh? <laughs> Evening, Corporal. Captain Main wearing about. Yes, Captain Square. He's down the other end of the tent. Mr. Manrin, Captain Square's here to see you. Oh, Lord, it's that terrible old bore again. Uh, I'd forgotten that the Eastgate platoon were with us this weekend. Hello, Mainwaring. Everything all right? Yes, thank you. It's, uh, it's Manwaring, if you don't mind. I'm so sorry, old boy. Yes, all my chaps are settled in. Uh, where are you sleeping? Here, at the end of the row. You're not going to sleep with the men, are you? Well, yes. Well, you, you can't have that sort of thing, old boy. It's bad for discipline. Oh, you really think so? Well, definitely. <laughs> it's not on, old boy. It's just not on. I mean, we officers must stick together, you know. Well, I like to muck it with my chaps as a rule. Well, it's a mistake, old man. It's a definite mistake. Now, <clears throat> I mean, where would it all end, you see? You take a tip from me. Rig up separate quarters for you and your sergeant. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to get some food. I'll see you later. Grab up! Come and get it! Come on, boys! Let's go and get our speed! Yes, it's a good idea! Wilson, Wilson, just a minute. Uh, yes, sir? They're all gone. Yes. I'd rather like to get something to eat myself. Oh, that can wait. Hmm? This is important. <laughs> I, um... <clears throat> I think you and I ought to sleep together tonight. <laughs> together? Yes. Away from the others. <laughs> Sorry, I don't quite follow you, sir. Well, I've been thinking it over, and I've come to the conclusion that it's bad for discipline for us to sleep with the ORs. ORs? The <laughs> other ranks. Yes, but you said just a moment ago, we, we all eat together, we all sleep together, and we all fight together. Well, in future, we'll just eat and fight together. <laughs> now, come on, give me a hand. Now, if we fasten a rope from this centre pole to the wall of the tent right, and drape blankets over it, we can make a sort of cubicle. Mm -hmm. Right, get some rope, will you, Wilson? Well, oh, that was a smashing tea, that was, wasn't it? Oh, it wasn't bad at all, son. Oh, the, the sun are doing their best to make us feel comfortable. Yeah, that seed cake was lovely, wasn't it? Uh, unfortunately, I can't eat caraway seeds. They give me shocking indigestion. Why did you bring a slice back with you, then? Well, I'm, I'm going to eat it later, after I've picked all the seeds out. <laughs> hello, hello. What's your contraption in the corner? Oh, oh. Mr. Barron's hung his blankets up to wear. Here. Yeah. Look at this notice pinned on it. This section is for officers and sergeants only. I wonder why Mr. Manring did that. Oh, it's obvious he's getting ideas above his station. <laughs> he really thinks he's an officer. But he is an officer, and after all, he's entitled to his privilege. Rubbish, rubbish. We're a civilian army, and he's only holding an emergency commission. Hey, Jonesy, come and look here. What's this? Officers and sergeants only. That's not like Mr. Manring. We're always mucking together. Well, men, you all have a good tea. <clears throat> well, I, uh, I think we're going to be very comfortable here. Now, I'm going to put some gramophone records on. Have any of you any particular requests? Uh -huh. How about, don't fence me in? <laughs> I don't think I've got that one, Fraser. I shall be in my cubicle if I'm needed. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ernst. Why is Mr. Manning severing his connections with us? <laughs> well, he thinks uh, it's bad for discipline for us to sleep with the oars. Pardon? <laughs> Other ranks. Oh, I see. Oh. Wilson, come in here a minute. Here's the sir. Ah. <clears throat> Close the blanket behind you. It's better. Now, what's the matter with Fraser? Oh, nothing as far as I know, sir. Well, I find his manner distinctly offhand and rude. What's more, I think he's upset the others. Now, how do you mean, sir? When I came back from tea just now, I noticed there was a change in the atmosphere. Well, perhaps you've upset them. Don't be absurd. 
I've hardly said a word to them since we arrived. If anybody's upset them, it's Fraser. Who, oh, um... I don't think he's a communist, do you? No. <laughs> I don't know how that makes you say that. I've just got a feeling in my bones that he's a Bolshev. Yes, well, after all, they are at the moment fighting on our side, you know. Yes, well, we won't go into that now. Huh? <laughs> all I can say is, it's a pity. I've looked forward to this weekend bombing for ages. Now Fraser goes and ruins it. I'm sure you're mistaken, sir. Well, I hope so. Well, by, by the way, sir, they, they, they've announced that there's a free issue of two pints of beer each tonight in the canteen. Oh, excellent. Yes, they're limiting us to two pints because uh, Captain Reed, for some peculiar reason, I'm told, wants us to have a steady hand when we throw those grenades about in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather strange, don't you think? Yes. Well, even with two pints... We can all have a nice convivial evening together before we turn in. Come on, then. Let's get over to the canteen. All right, sir. After you, sir. Thank you, Wilson. Hello, Mainwaring. <laughs> you coming down to the mess for a drink? It's Mannering. What mess? Officer's mess, of course. Thought we might have a churn of pig or two. Well, as a matter of fact, we were all on our way to the canteen. Now, look here. Listen to me very carefully. There's nothing wrong with the odd drink for the men now and again. But you don't want to overdo it. Well, we're only going to have a couple of pints together. Well, the other officers are all down the mess. If you don't turn up, they might think you were a bit... odd. Really? Well, I wouldn't want them to think that. Oh, of course you wouldn't. I'll, ju I'll just have a word with my sergeant. Yeah, Wilson. Yes, sir? Look, uh, Wilson. Hi. It's a bit of a bore, but um, I've got to go and have a drink of the officer's mess. Oh, I see. Look after the men. See they have a good time. All right, sir. Come on, Mainwaring. Coming. Well, chaps, have a good time tonight. Enjoy yourselves and... Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah. So, it's too good even to drink with us now. Cut. The man's got delusions of grandeur. Here we are. This is the mess tent. In you go, Mainwaring. Thank you. Now, hello, chaps. <laughs> this is Mainwaring, Warmington on Sea Platoon. How do you do? Pritchard of Headquarters, Nashley Jones, Dimwich Platoon. Uh, how do you do? Uh, now, what are you going to have, gentlemen? What, what? Same again? Yes, please. Jolly ah. good, jolly good. Orderly, three large whiskers. Very good, sir. And what are you going to have, Mainwaring? Oh, uh, um, could, could I have a sweet sherry? A sweet sherry? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. All we've got is a few bottles of whiskey. And damn lucky to get that. <clears throat> Make it four large whiskies, orderly. Right, sir. Well, a drop of whiskey won't hurt you, and it's damn hard to get these days. You want to drink it while you can, you know, Mainwaring. Oh, there I go again. Must call you Mannery. Uh, I knew a fella out in India used to call himself Chumley. Spelt his name Cholmondley. <laughs> we, we always used to call him Chili Mushroom. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> silly arse he was. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Four large whiskies. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, cheers. Well, cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Well, this is the end. Hey, I said this is the end. What are you talking about? I still got old pint left. As soon as we get back, I'm resigning. You can't do that, Jock. Remember what Kitchener said. Your country needs you. Even when that time comes over there. But I am not serving under Mannering anymore. Yes. <laughs> Old Bungie rode his polo pony <laughs> right through the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your glass, Mainwary. No, no more for me, thank you. Oh, nonsense. You must keep up. There you are. Cheers! Cheers. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was the night we made old Bungie a cardinal. A cardinal, eh? That takes me back a bit. Haven't seen anybody made a cardinal for donkey's years. Uh, how, uh, how could you make somebody a cardinal? Well, it's a little ceremony we used to perform in the mess years ago. What do you have to do? What? 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 Why? <laughs> you want to be made one? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might. Well, we old souls are used to it, but I, I think you'd find a bit too much. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I want to be made a cardinal. All right. What? 
Uh, shall we make him a cardinal? Yes, why not? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, look, I'll just go through the procedure a few times so you can get the hang of it. <clears throat> now, uh, it goes like this, you see. Uh, first of all, you say, here's to the health of Cardinal Puff for the first time. And you tap the table with the first finger of your right hand once, and the first finger of your left hand once, stamp once with your right foot, and once with your left foot. Bang your glass on the table once, like this, and take one drink. Then you say, here's the health of Cardinal Puff Puff for the second time. Tap the table with the first and second fingers of the right hand twice, and the first and second fingers of your left hand twice. Stamp your right foot twice. Stamp your left foot twice. Bang your glass on the table twice. And take two drinks. Then you go on. Here's the health of Cardinal Puff, Puff, Puff for the third and last time. Tap the table the first, second, and third fingers of your right hand thrice. First, second, and third fingers of your left hand thrice. Stamp your right foot thrice. Left foot thrice. Bang your glass on the table thrice. And take three drinks. <laughs> now, have you got that? Not quite. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll show you again, I'll show you again. Here's the health of Cardinal Puff for the first time. Tap the table with the first thing to your right hand. So the commercial traveller said, <laughs> I'm sorry, madam, I only work from Monday to Friday. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. I know some jokes. Hey, listen, Uncle Arthur. Mm? Listen. Three tomatoes are running across the desert. Which one's the cowboy? I really no idea. None of them. They were all redskins. <laughs> redskins. Do you get it? Red redskins. Oh yes, yes. Awfully good. Red, yeah, very good. Yes. I've got another one. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, have you? <laughs> Why did the submarine black? <clears throat> Oh, do you give up? Mm -hmm. Go on, do you give up? Give up? Mm. Because it saw Queen Mary's bottom. <laughs> you, you know, I, I don't think Queen Mary would like that. <laughs> Bang the glass on the table thrice and take three drinks. Now, is that your mannering? Yes, I think so. Good, good. Now, <clears throat> let me fill your glass up. There we are. Now, don't forget, if you go wrong, you have to drain the whole glass of whiskey and start all over again. <laughs> right, off you go. Uh, <clears throat> Here's the health of Cardinal Puff the first time. Wrong! <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> you forgot to bang the glass on the table before you drank. <laughs> Start again. Oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Here's to the hell. No, 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 no. You must drain your glass first, old boy. Oh. <laughs> well, now, I'll just top you up. Now, there you are. You've got a nice full glass again. Now, off you go. Here's to the health of Cardinal Puff for the first time. <laughs> well, well, well done. Well done. Here's to the health of Cardinal Puff, Puff, for the second time. Wrong! <laughs> Why? <laughs> you only tap the table with one finger. You should have used two. Start again. What? <laughs> hey, man, just listen to them. A crying disgrace, that's what it is. I, I really can't think what's come over Mr. Manring. He's, he's never behaved like this before. When I was in the Sudan, he used to be right going on in the officer's mess. Mind you, you had to be careful. If you drank too much in that heat, it used to turn you into a gibbering idiot. 
You must have drunk quite a bit. <laughs> I should have said, Colonel, Colonel Puff Puff Puff. Not Colonel Puff 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 Puff. Oh. <laughs> oh, now start again. Let me fill your glass up. There you are. Right. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the health of the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? The same thing. It's all religious. <laughs> it's the wrong denomination. What's the wrong denomination? What is it? One's R.C. and the other's C of E. Oh. Well, here's to the health of the Archbishop of Canterbury, a friend of Cardinal Puff, 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 Puff. <laughs> and and the, car the Cardinal's wife, oh... Mrs. Puff 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 Puff. <laughs> and all the little bloody Puff Puff Puff. <laughs> hey, good morning, Sir Major. Good morning, Tim. I was just checking the tent, sir. Make sure nobody slept in. Oh. What was that? It's coming oh. from inside that tent, sir. Oh. Oh. Oh, good Lord. It's Captain Mannering. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, are you all right, Mannering? I mean, you, you look dreadful. Oh. Oh, Captain Reed. Oh. What time is it? Ten o'clock. Good Lord. Where, where are my men? Well, they're all down on the b -b -b bombing range. I, I'm just on my way there to instruct them in grenade f firing. I'll come with you. I don't want to miss the grenade firing. Oh, I, oh, I wish they wouldn't do that. Oh, my head. Right. Now, pay attention. Today we are using the home guard's favorite weapon, namely the grenade cup discharger. This is fitted to the top of a reinforced 303 rifle. Take it steady, but don't fire until the sergeant major says so. Right. Stand by. Fire. Oh, not bad at all. Thank you, sir. Good shot, Fraser. Next man, take up the firing position. I need two more to fire, sir. Oh, good. Uh, Captain Mannering, we shan't need any more grenades. Tell your men to load the rest of those boxes onto your van. Right, sir. Jones, Fraser, oh, oh, sir, put the rest good. of those boxes of grenades back oh, in the van. Right, right, come on, then. Wilson, I feel terrible. You don't look too good. No, 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 no. I mean about last night. I'm afraid the men will never look up to me again. Well, they'll get over it in time, sir. Oh, no, they won't. Once an officer forfeits the respect of his men, he's done. Right, last man, take out firing, Mr. Jones. Jones. Yes, Captain Van Red. We've nearly finished. You can get into the cab now, ready to drive the van away the moment I give you the signal. Very good, sir. And when we're ready to go, I'll bang on the back of the van. Right, sir. I'll go and start the engine. Are you ready, lad? Yes, Sergeant Major. I'm ready. All right, then. Fire! <laughs> Nothing's happened. I think it must have broken, sir. You've still got the safety catch on you, silly lad. Stay where you are, I'll do it. Well, he won't budge. Don't you won't wave budge. that rifle above like that, lad, or you'll... Oh, look what I've done. He's going straight towards Jonesy's van. Uh, Mr. Manring, got your signal? I'm off. 
No need for him to bang as loud as that. I'm not deaf. Good Lord, sir. George is driving off with a live grenade in the van. But there, there are t- 200 grenades in that van. If that lot goes up, it's goodbye to your corporal. Stay where you are, all of you. I'm going after him. Yes, but sir, I... Don't I really try and stop me. There's a man's life at stake. Jones! Jones! Carl! Oh, he'll never make it. No, he's done it. He's done it. Look, he's jumped on the tailboard. Oh, uh... Jones! Jones! Oh, dear. Jones! Hello, Mr. Manley. Where did you spring from? I didn't know you was hiding in the back there. Quick, stop the van. You just give me the signal to start. I wish you'd make up your mind. Jones, it's an order. Stop the van. There's a live grenade in the back. What? Don't panic! Don't panic! <laughs> There's a live grenade in the back! Don't panic! <laughs> Jones, look out where you're going. No panic, no panic. Jones, you're driving straight at the men. Great Scott, the van's turning round. What, what, what do you think they're up to? It's coming straight for us. Look out. Oh, Jones, what are you doing? Don't worry, sir. I'm under control now. Don't look at me. Look where you're driving. Look out. Look out. It's coming back again. Oh, the man's gone berserk. It's coming back from where I am. Jones, get out of the van. Get out right, sir. Where? Jones, you idiot. I meant to stop the van before you jumped. Oh, dear. I do hope Captain Manley is all right. Uh, look, the van's out of control. No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's stopped just in time. He'll never get, get out of the, there alive. Oh, oh, look, he's jumping out of the van. He's running away from the van. Yeah, his courage has failed him at last. I knew it would. No, no, look, look, he's got the grenade. He's going to throw it. Go. Go. A man of steel, our commander. <laughs> oh, the said so. Duck! Everybody, duck! <laughs> he's thrown the grenade. What a brave fool! <laughs> Good throwing, sir. Good throwing. You scored a bullseye. He saved my life, he did. He saved my life. He's blown the firing range to smithereens. <laughs> Just look at them targets. They're a shambles. Oh, thank you, Captain Manrin. You're my saviour, sir. Oh, come now, Jones. Oh. Just in the line of duty. Oh, well done, sir. Thank you, Wilson. Well, man, we'd better be getting back to Warmington. I'm afraid not, Mannering. I beg your pardon, sir? You can go, yes, but b- b- back on that firing range and repair all the d- d- damage you've done. Oh, oh, no, no, carry on, Sergeant oh, Major. Oh, 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 right, come on, you sloppy shy. Get fell in. Oh, That's me having you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Silence in the ring. Oh, oh, right, then. Return. Ten, ten. Right, ten. Fire the right! Quick match! In that episode of Dad's Army, based on the original television series by Jimmy Perry and David Croft, you heard Arthur Lowe's Captain Mannering, John LeMessure Sergeant Wilson, Clive Dunn Corporal Jones, John Laurie Private Fraser, Arnold Ridley, Private Godfrey, Ian Lavender, Private Pike, Jeffrey Lumsden, Captain Square, Jack Watson, Captain Reed, Michael Brennan, Sergeant Major, and Norman Ettingler as Pritchard. Fallen Idol was adapted for radio by Michael Knowles and Harold Snowd and produced by John D-